everybody. Welcome to our kitchen. I'm the penguin. And I'm the chef. And the chef is here to fix something up for you guys tonight. Yeah, well, I was uh, clearing out the garden. You know, you've seen the picture of the peppers the other day that I got out of there. And there were some green onions out there and some sweet peppers. So I got some of the green onions chopped up there. And I got some of my little sweet red peppers chopped up there. And uh, I got some bell peppers back here. I got some odd colored ones on this one. There's one of them really dark ones. It's, that's like green on the inside, but dark on the outside. This is the first one I had. This, this one's almost chocolate colored, if you can see it in the light. It's almost, it almost looks like a... Hershey bar. Yeah, that, that color uh, inside and out, too. And then this is one I just... I only had a few of these grow there towards the end. I've never had a, a bell pepper that color before in my life. That's really like ghost light. And then I got some yellows and some greens. So anyway, what I'm going to bring you tonight, we've fixed a few times. And it's one of them good things if you're on a budget, especially if you have your own bell peppers to use. Uh, basically, it's, it's stovetop stuffing stuffed bell peppers. What you're going to need is, of course, bell peppers, regular onion. I'm adding green onions and the sweet peppers because I have them out of the garden. You're going to need an egg. Garlic powder, onion powder, some Worcestershire sauce, and your meat. When I'm combining uh, about half to three quarters of a pound of hamburger with about half a pound of Tennessee Pride Sage sausage, and I got a big can of tomato sauce back here, and we happen to have a half a can of tomato paste, so I'm going to mix that in there. And this we got on the discount rack the other day. It's a bag of stovetop savory herb stuffing it was the box was all crushed so i only paid half price for it so it was only a buck yeah can you believe that now stovetop stuffing is two dollars a box wow might be more other places and i'm gonna put a little real garlic to mine since we got real garlic too so basically all i'm gonna do is i'm gonna mix all these ingredients together and i'll get a bowl here and i'll show you the proportions to put in it and i'm gonna mix that all together get it put down inside my bell peppers get me a pan for the oven spray the bottom of it Put them in there, cover it in sauce, and let them cook. And then a little closer to the time they're being done, I'm going to make a little bit of sauce to put on top to let it brown just right before they're done. So I'll be back, and I'll start mixing up stuff for you. Okay, guys. Like I said, I got about uh, half to three quarters of a pound of uh, ground beef, and I got half a pound of sage sausage. You can just use hamburger if you want. You can use all sausage if you like. You can mix them like I am. Use your use your favorite kind of sausage. Like I said, it, it, it doesn't really matter. You're going to add your flavor other ways too. And this is that half a can of tomato paste that we had left in the refrigerator. And again, optional. We, we've added tomato paste before into the mix, and we have it before. Who's getting rid of stuff? Yeah, trying to clean out the refrigerator. Everybody knows how that goes. Sam's Club trip tomorrow. Yeah, trying to use up stuff that we have, not to waste, and save money. And now I'm going to put about a teaspoon of garlic powder in. See right there, garlic powder. I'll get you guys back when I get all the ingredients in there so you can see a little bit better. This bowl is just really tall. And I'm going to put about half a teaspoon or a teaspoon of onion powder in. You can see onion powder. And then since I like a lot of garlic in my stuff, I am going to put in a big heaping tablespoon, a juicy tablespoon of real minced garlic. Dinner bell. <laughs> and then, like I said, this is also optional. This is the way you like. This is out of my garden. It's just a... Oh, about a, I don't know, a third of a cup, a quarter of a cup of diced sweet peppers. And then I got the onion of uh, three green onions here, putting in there. Had a couple of little ones and a big one, trying to use them up. And then I got one diced, uh, small to medium yellow pepper, like a or yellow, yellow onion. onion. You can use any kind of onion you want. If you like sweet onions there, they work good in there. And then, of course, we got our bag of stovetop stuffing. 
I got the save your herbs. You can use it anytime you want. You don't have to buy the name brand stuff, of course. We've used the other before. This so happens we caught that one in the markdown aisle. They don't make a savory herb in the markdown. In the markdown, the cheaper ones, they don't make a savory herb flavor. I thought I seen one at Myers that was no, savory it's usually herb. Just chicken, pork, and turkey. And then we're gonna put a good eh, two tablespoons, three tablespoons of Worcestershire. And break in our one egg. And then of course always gotta put a little bit of salt. Not too much, about half a teaspoon. And about half a teaspoon of black pepper. If you have white pepper you'd rather use or ground pepper, it's fine too. I know you can't really see it going in. It's hard to shake out of my little shake homemade shaker here. There we go. Now it's Did just... you see on the Queen sing along family sing along the other night when they were serving uh, room service to one of the rooms? They had a couple of little bottles just like yours. Uh -uh. But they had them turned around so you couldn't see the Heinz label. No, uh -uh. I didn't see that. Yeah. <laughs> There's been a lot of Queen stuff on TV lately. Because it's their 50th anniversary. Yeah. Okay, everybody, I've got my mixture all mixed up here. You can see down inside there. I'm going to go ahead and stuff down in my peppers. Like I said, you can make a lot of variations. This is one of the meals that... It's fairly cheap to make because you're using stuffing. If you, you're making even more of this, we've taken and just used one box of stuffing and added some breadcrumbs or some uh, cornflakes, rice. You can go ahead and go with traditional and add a little rice to it and make it that way. But then we're just trying to use up stuff out of the garden and some stuff we had in the refrigerator. Lord knows as high as prices are now, you want to stretch everything out and make it last. You know, I've been watching a lot of videos on there where people are telling, trying to warn you ahead if you don't have a, a pantry prepped up with some stuff ahead, you really need to. Yeah, like Brenda at my house to yours. Yeah, like Brenda at my house to yours. And of course the girls at it. Martin's Midlife Misadventures. Yeah, Amy and Ashley. They're always giving good tips. Yeah. And I haven't forgot about you two. I, I have some seeds. I just haven't had time to get them out of the freezer to see if I can get them to grow yet for those trees, I promised you. I'm hoping they do grow because I want some too. I uh, stratified some seeds earlier in the year and I told them I would send them a couple to see if they'd grow out there with them of uh, some donut peach Peaches and, uh, what was the other ones? You got some cherries. Cherries, that was it. Actually, you got quite a bit of seeds for them. Yeah, I got some other seeds, too, for them and a few other people. But I saved back out of my garden, so they won't have to buy any next year, and I won't have to buy any seeds next year. But what you're going to do is you're going to stuff these all as full as you can get them. I usually have a, just a little bit hanging over the top, of course, you know, because your meat's going to... The meat's got oil and a grease in it, and it's going to cook out slowly as you're cooking them, so it'll shrink inside a little bit. All right, boy. And then while these are cooking in the tomato sauce, I make a little bit of a topping for them, so right before they're done, I can spread a little topping on top of them, give them just a little bit more flavor. Okay, and we're back. I got them all stuffed now and sitting back here. Uh, what I have here is a 12 inch cast iron uh, casserole. casserole pan with a lid. Uh, you can use a pot if you like with a lid. You, you want to make sure you have something with a lid or you can cover it with foil. Because when you put this in the oven and bake it, it's going to uh, bubble some. And I have a 29 ounce can of tomato sauce. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pour some tomato sauce all around the bottom. Like a big pizza, doesn't it? There we go. And then I'm slowly gonna take my peppers and place them in there. 
There's the biggest one I got right there. I'm on potato duty. Yeah, using up some old potatoes we got. They have grown eyeballs, and I'm using my favorite potato peeler from Darlene McFate. Speaking of which, when we come back here in a minute, I'll show you my little potatoes. I took some of the baby potatoes we had. We bought at the store that had blue eyes on them. And I planted them in a tub and added uh, dirt to them. And then I kept going back and adding uh, a little mulch to the top when I watered them. And it, like I said, it was just two little potatoes I cut in four pieces. It only made a handful, but some of them are about the size of marbles. <laughs> But they're really cute, though. Marbles to golf ball size. Yeah. Well, got, it is, is they actually grew. Yeah, they grew. Just right, like I said, right from the thing. But I'm going to take I'm going to put a little bit right on top of each one. <clears throat> like so. Everything covered, and I'm just going to take and pour the rest down in there. Actually, I'm going to take that can and I'm going to put a little water in it just to get all the good stuff out. Put that down in there too. So let me rinse this out real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, I put just a little water in there just to add that to the bottom. Like so. And then what I like doing. I still have my Worcestershire sauce out. I like taking and just putting a dash right on top of each one. Not a lot, just a little bit. That sort of goes along with the sauce I make to put over the top of these. Let me grab my lid. Hang on. Okay, there you go. Here's the lid. Put the lid on top of those. I got my oven preheating at 350 degrees. I'm going to cook it about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes at 350. And like I said, a few minutes before I think they're done, I'm going to take them out, take the lid off, make some topping and put on them, and leave the lid off at that point. That way the sauce kind of congeals and cooks a little bit better together, and the sauce can brown on the top that I make for it. So when we get to that point, we'll be back. Okay, guys, our peppers have got about 15 minutes left, so I decided to make my sauce. We don't do this every time, but every now and then when I make these, I, I make a little bit of sauce. What I usually use is I use a tablespoon of A1, a tablespoon of lemon juice, or uh, you can use vinegar. Lemon juice has just got a little bit lighter flavor. It adds a little twang without adding so much. Put in a couple of tablespoons of brown sugar, a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, and then ketchup. It, I'm not really for sure on the measurement on the ketchup because I usually just put some in and mix it together and taste it. Kind of one of them kind of deals. But that's how you add it together. So when I get everything put in there, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, guys. I got my sauce all made up there, as you can see, and I taste tested it. So it's the way I like it. So I got it on just a little bit of low on the stove. I'm going to slowly let it heat up, thick it up just a little bit so I can put it on top of them peppers when the peppers come out. I'm gonna, when we're at that point, I'll bring you back. Okay, there's my peppers. They been, they just come out an hour and 15 minutes at 350. And here's my sauce all thickened up. I put it on low, low, medium, low, and cooked it for about five minutes. And I kept stirring it. So now we're going to spoon some sauce over these boys. And then we're going to put them back in the oven for like 10 to 15 minutes on broil at about 350 to 375. Depends on your oven and how good your broiler is. Let's spread it out a little bit there. Like I said, I think the sauce really makes the topping on them. It gives them just a little bit different flavor than a normal stuffed bell pepper. Of course, having stuffing in them instead of rice gives them a whole different kind of taking flavor too. They're going to be very good. That sauce is very, very good. Yeah. Usually we take some of the tomato sauce that's cooked in the bottom and I put it on my mashed potatoes sometimes because that's what we're having tonight with this corn and mashed potatoes the all-american meal yeah well there you go like I said I'm gonna put them back in the oven 10 to 15 minutes about 375 on broil let this get good and baked on and we'll take them out and serve them up we'll be right back
See my little chicken thing? Oh yeah, we found that at a yard sale. Today's menu. Take it, it or leave, leave it. it. <laughs> Be back, guys. There you go, guys. The sauce got all nice and browned on the top. Mashed potatoes and corn for supper. Like I said, I like having some of that tomato sauce over my mashed potatoes, so. <laughs> I'm over here picking at it already. She's going to cut into the yellow one, and I'm going to take me a <coughs> bite out of this green one over here. Let me see what. Oh, shoot. I dropped it. You dropped it on my pepper. Yeah. That's the inside. You see it steaming. Just got done. Got to take a blow on it for a minute. You got to take a blow on it? Yeah. Too hot to eat. <laughs> yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Try to get me a bite of pepper this time. It smells really good. Steaming hot. Comfort food. Yeah. Definite comfort food. Definite. With a twist. You can't really tell it's got the stovetop stuffing in it, but no. you can surely taste yeah, it, no doubt. Yeah, big difference between having rice and having stovetop stuffing in it. It just takes your meat a lot further and gives it a lot of flavor instead of just using traditional yeah, rice. rice yeah, or Rice doesn't add any flavor. It's just bulk. Yeah, it's just bulk. Yeah, you could use crackers and you, or you could use quino or... Quinoa. Quinoa, or you could use uh, cornflakes or anything for filling, but it doesn't have much flavor, whereas your... The stovetop tough stuffing adds flavor to it. So. Yeah, even buying the the cheaper version. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like I said, you can use any kind you want. Dump it in, seasoning and all. And like we say on every one of our videos, try it our way and tweak it the way you guys like it. Nothing set in stone. Hot, hot, hot. Yeah, very hot. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Pepper, pepper is nice and soft where you don't have to... Mm -hmm. You want them? Ooh, ooh. Delicious though. Mm -mm. Very hot. Well, as we always say in our videos, this is what we're having for dinner. So, mashed potatoes compliments a penguin. Yeah, she made <laughs> homemade mashed potatoes. The potatoes mm. we had left. Mm -mm. Okay, guys, that's what's for dinner. Yeah, that's what's for dinner tonight. Some stove top stuff. Bell peppers with some sauce on top of them and some leftover stuff out of our garden. Yeah. So, you guys all have a good night. Give it a try and see if you like it. Bye, guys. Have good a night. good night. Good night.